Today's DIY is based on 720 degree peplum. Wait a minute before you click off. You might actually get a tips from this tutorial. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Carol. And for my friends and new subscribers, I love you all. Thank you for subscribing. I'm seeing some new subscribers. I love you all. I appreciate you a lot. Today's tutorial, I'm going to touch on 360, 1080, and 1440. Though I'm working on 720 degree peplum for this dress. So, before I see Okay, I say welcome once again. We're going to start with a formula of a full cycle. So the radius of a full cycle is the circumference all over 2 pi. Now the circumference of a circle can be your waist, your hip, or any place you want to place a flounce or frills or a full flay on. That is the circumference. Why the pi is a standard which is 3.142 so we're going to multiply the 2 multiplied by pi which is 2 multiplied by 3.142 which will give us the circumference all over 6.28 now the 0.28 is insignificant to me because it's an approximation so i normally use 6 so now the waist measurement i'm working on is 25 so we're going to use 25 for all the calculation so now the radius of a, a 360 circle is 25 divided by 6 which i will get 4.2 now i'm going to work on now the 720 degree now the 720 degree is a double cycle which means we are costing 2360 so i use the six i add addition that is making it addition of six plus six which gives me 12. now it will be 25 divided by 12. i will get 2.08 approximately i will use two inches so for a 1080, that means we are costing 3360. So it will now be 25 all over 6 plus 6 plus 6, which is 25 all over 18, which will give me 1.4. Now, we have seen the 1080, we've seen the 720, and we have seen the 360. So we work on 1440 now. So for 1440, we need for 360 so now we say 25 all over 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 that makes it 25 over 24 which will give us 1.04 approximately i will use one inch if i want to work on a 1440 degree problem but i'm working on 720 degree problem so now we we'll work on the length of what we actually need so that we don't waste fabric to calculate for that, we will say the radius, which is the 2 inches, plus the length that of the skirt we need, which is 18 inches, plus 1 inch hemming allowance. So all together, we are getting 21 inches. Now, the 21 inches is just for a single length, and we are going to fold into two. So it will now be 21 plus 21, it will give us 42 inches. Now the 42 inches is a double length and we need it to be folded into four. So we need the width and we need the length. So all together, we're going to have 42 inches by width and 42 inches by length. So we will now cut that out of our fabric. So I hope we 
understand. If we don't get this, please drop your question at the comment section. I will answer everything. So now, 720 is what I will be working on henceforth. The material I'm using is an, uh, uh, a gum stay medium for my fabric and paper gum for my lining so now we will cut out our material and iron it on so i've cut it and i've folded into two then i'm going to fold into four again so that's how i'm going to cut it so i'll cut for the first i cut for the second then i cut for lining and i cut the second one for the lining because we are working on 720 so it's double circle so now we're going to cut our skirt out so now the two inches two inches is what i'm going to mark first of the radius after folding into four so we'll now mark the length so i'm going to mark 18 and a half inches i just need half inch for my sewing allowance so i'm going to mark it all around just as you are seeing, I'm going to mark it, making sure that I move the tape. I don't station it in one place. I'll be moving the tape from the two inches to from edge to edge to be able to get my perfect circle. So now I'm going to mark half inch upward for my sewing allowance because if you cut at that two inches, you're going to have some stretch and you have reduced from your length of your dress so that is the sewing allowance at the upper side so i'm going to cut out from the material now cutting it the one and a half inch out now and i'm going to cut my 18 and a half inches out So after cutting out the first layer of our circle, I'm going to cut for the second layer. So which I have done. So now I am going to now separate it, separate the two of them, cutting it into one. Because we are going to stitch the two together. So I'm cutting the two out now. I'm going to pin it. So after pinning it, we're going to do uh, the same thing to the lining. That is cutting it the same way. A quick reminder though, my lining, I added one and a half inches to my lining more than the main fabric just to help me lap my fabric better off than having having it not getting up to where i want it to get so i normally add one and a half inches to my lining so i'm going to cut off my lining now then pin it the same way i did to the fabric then i will now take the two both the lining and the fabric to the machine so i'm going to sew them so i'm pinning them together now so i finished sewing it i sewed with half an inch both for the lining and for the uh, for the fabric so now after sewing i'm going to measure around my waist to find out the excess that is left the excess that is left is what i'm going to use for my zip allowance now as you can see 25 inches is the waist that i needed but i'm having 26 and a half now so the one and a half inch is going to serve for the zip allowance so i'm going to pin the fabric and the lining together at the aiming side so I'm going to pin them round then head to my machine to sew it by half an inch so 
so i finished sewing it now as you can see i hope you guys can see it i've top stitched it so now i'm going to align both the lining and the fabric at the waistline where we first stitch together so i'm going to align it and i will pin it around pinning both the liner and the fabric a quick one do sometimes there is an excess in the lining so don't panic when you find out such a challenge all you need is just to pleat it out little by little and you pleat it all around and your your fabric and your lining will be perfect for you to sew so i've pinned it one side from the center then i'm going to pin the other side as you can see i'm pleating the excess of the lining so i'll go to the machine now and sew at the waistline using half an inch to sew it and sew the side too as you can see so guys i finished sewing it so the next thing to do is to cut off an excess of the lining both at the side and at the waistline So I finished cutting now. All we need to do now is to go out and sew our zip allowance. I'm going to leave some parts that will be joined to my princess cut to make it a gun. So I'm going to leave that part. Then the remaining part, I'm going to sew it. Now, using the one and a half inch cheese that was left, I'm going to share it to both sides. With both sides. So by dividing it into two, we're having three quarter inch to sew so i'll head to the machine now and stitch it together so guys we are finished sewing so you as you can see so we we'll attach our princess coat you can attach anything to it you can attach strap you can make it a skirt anything you want at all you can attach it a, a peplum can even be attached to a pants to a sleeve so guys i hope you find it helpful please subscribe to our channel if it is helpful comment on the section below thank you so much for watching we love you bye